Hi everyone. Hello all my diamond painting friends. My name is Nyx and I'd like to say thank you for watching my video. Today I'm going to do a unboxing of a diamond painting that I got off of Amazon. Um, it does not have a, a, a name to it but uh, it's sunflowers and I bought it for a friend of mine whose birthday is literally next week so I'm hoping that I can get this cranked out and framed for her for her birthday because she loves sunflowers so uh, and again like I said this just came in so I wanted to do a quick uh, I set my diamond painting to the side and wanted to do a quick unboxing for you guys because I try not to let things get piled up because right this minute I really do have a huge amount on my table that I have to do unboxings for so let me get my stuff out of the way here um, this is if anybody's wondering this is what I was using for my dumb and painting this is my trays that are fixing to come out uh, on my Etsy channel, Nix's Notions, and this is Rainbow. There is uh, three trays, and you can set the the little um, round bars and uh, jars in there. I also have one that you can, if you use the Tic Tac boxes, it will hold the Tic Tac boxes. But this is 3D printed, and I, um, I it's Rainbow, which I love. I thought that was just so cool. So. I told Mr. E to print me out a rainbow and so I could take some pictures and list it up on Etsy because everybody likes rainbows. So I was testing it out before I did that. So stay tuned to Nix's Notions and hopefully I will have that listed along with some extra goodies uh, for diamond painting real soon. This is going to be one of our other trays that we have it's got the stopper in it which I really really like this one it's bigger um, and it can you can get a lot of your rows really really straightened up so this is also rainbow um, and it's pretty cool because when you wiggle it oh, when you wiggle it in the light it's like it changes colors and as you can see the stopper is a different color because when my when Mr. E finished printing this one, if you look at the colors, uh, it literally he started this one, so it went from this to this. Um, now this one here is pretty cool. I love the purple because when you look at it, it looks purple, but then in the light when you move it, it looks like that teal turquoise blue kind of so that was pretty cool that one turned out really good one thing about rainbow color it comes on this big spool and it's kind of, if you crochet and you use variegated yarn then the filament for the 3d uh printer is the same way when it comes to rainbow it's variegated so kind of you get what you get and no two will ever be the same so anyway, that's what this one is, and it's pretty big. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. I, mine are in neon green, which y'all have already seen if you've looked at my other videos. So now that I got everything out of the way, let's get to this diamond painting. And I need to set that up. Oh well. Hopefully the babies are sleeping. I have five ferrets. Hopefully they're sleeping and do not realize that mommy threw a package on the floor because if they do, um, y'all are going to be hearing a whole lot of happy mice running around. Alright, I am fixing to have scrunchies here. Anybody that has on earbuds or headphones, please mute me until you see me finished. And I literally just got this in, so... Um, I haven't even opened it yet. Like I said, it's a birthday present for a friend. I'm really, really, really hoping that it's good. I swore off of Amazon diamond paintings. I got two good ones in the very, very beginning when I first started two months ago. And um, then after that, 
I, I ordered uh, two more. Well, come up there. Okay, sorry guys, I was trying to be quiet. So anyway, I uh, ordered two more, and when I got them, they were a hot mess. And I just said, nope, I'm not doing them more. That was it. So I'm going to, uh, due to the fact that this is poured glue, okay, I can roll this backwards. And the canvas is, is pretty good canvas. Uh, it's a little stiff. Uh, nowhere near Diamond Art Club. Sorry, guys, this is Amazon. But Diamond Art Club didn't have sunflowers. And my friend really, really likes sunflowers. And she likes fall colors and what have you. And uh, Diamond Art Club... Uh, Dreamers Design, uh, any of those people, they really didn't have their fall stuff out yet. And uh, also, too, I needed it really fast. So this is what I got. So I'm going to roll this backwards. Oh, let's look at the drill feel real quick. See if y'all can... It looks pretty good, especially compared to the messes I have gotten before. It's got a few wonky numbers there but it looks to be okay um so i think this one is going to turn out fairly fairly good now my big boys are fixing to come in the door any day i got um hazel from uh craftability and I just got her sister, uh, um, Rainbow. So, Hazel's due in today. However, Mailman hasn't run yet. This was Amazon uh, that dropped this off. So, my Mailman, for some reason or another, he hasn't been running until like 6 o'clock at night. So, oh, okay. Wow, alright, that's odd. They must have forgot some drills. Normally you don't have drills in the boat. Um, and those are round drills. So you got your pen. You got your Ziploc bags. You got a really cheap pair of tweezers. Um, guys, if you go to the automotive store... Usually the mechanics have these and they're cheap and they're really, really good. Or you can pick them up at Harbor Freight. Um, but for some reason or another, this looks like it's been opened or I'm not quite sure what's going on here. But, okay, we're just going to set that to the side. There's the bags. We're going to set that to the side a one single placer um yucky tweezers a little bit of glue green boat oh which by the way here's the green boat you get in a kit and here's the green boat that comes in a three pack however this is what happens when you are holding the boat it the little green ones they and when you push down on them, they pop up and you lose all your lines, right? Well, one good thing about 3D printing, this is rock hard. They don't bend. They don't fluctuate. You, where your drills are, is where your drills stay. So, even if nobody buys it, I'm just happy my husband made them for me. But, anyway, I thought I'd stick them in my Etsy store and share with you guys. So, again... I am unsure of why we have drills hanging out here in left field that look like they have been, the bag has been taped together. Oh no, this does not look good. However, thank goodness, I think I do have some spare drills from other kits that... If push comes to shove, I might be able to um, 75, 
38. Wow. I don't know about this. Please, please, please let it be good. I have really got to get this done for her birthday. And this, what is this? This is a 302. Alright, we're going to put you up there. We'll get to the drills in just a second. Anyway, this is, this is it. Now, you'll see that it's got some, some creases here. Uh, this is not in the canvas. This is poured paint. Um, so what it is, is, is the paper. However, I don't want to peel this up and try to smooth it back down because it really bothers people that have headphones. Trust me, I have watched enough unboxings with headphones and earbuds in that when we get to the crinkly part, it's a little annoying. But, uh, so I try not to do that to others. But it looks, it doesn't, I, the last bad ones that I got literally looked like a blob of color on a canvas. I couldn't tell what it was. But this looks like it's going to be pretty good and, and pretty, um, is pretty detailed. This is a, um, hang on, let me, okay. This is a 35 by 45. So it is um, 35 this way, 45 this way. Let me get my tape measure. And I will, I will measure it for good measures. Alright, said this was to be a 35 by 45. This is 30 inches this way. And it's 40 inches from top down. So, that extra, yeah. It's got an, uh, it's got uh, three fourths of a border. So, that got cut off. And the, Wow. Okay, that's really small. Thank goodness I got a light pad. I don't know about you guys, but... If I can... Come on, focus, focus, focus. I don't know about you guys, but wow, that's small. And I got my glasses off looking at it, and I am very nearsighted, and I am definitely going to have to use a light pad and... Do my best with this one on on guessing colors. So I'm gonna turn this over. I don't know. I don't know. These drills that are hanging out here in left field have got me worried a little bit. Okay, I'm fixing to open this up. Uh, so everybody mute me till I'm done. All I can say is thank goodness oh, somebody loves me at Amazon. I buy enough there, trust me. I pay at least 25 employees salaries every week. Um, they do have their paper in, in the bag. So thank goodness for that because this shows me the symbols because I couldn't read it on the canvas. Here's the... Here's the picture of what it's going to look like. I really hope it turns out good. Um, and see, it says it's a 40 by 30, but we know it's not. It's a 35. Um, yeah. Well, crud, I forgot what I said. Anyway, rewind. You'll see what size it is. But the numbers are not too bad. I mean, I don't really see any crazy numbers, you know, any crazy symbols. I've never had a kit with that one on it before. Um, DMC is 922. So, I, I'm not going to put you guys through me going through here and seeing if what's missing and what's not. 
However, I will show you the colors. Okay, here I go. That's a really pretty brown and some reds. Um, I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to videos and everybody's showing drills and what have you, I get a little bored with it and fast forward. So, if you like to see the drills, please leave a comment below because I don't know, okay? If you don't want to see the drills, then again, please leave a comment because, you know, me personally, one drill looks like another. You know, I trust the person that's saying the video, uh, that's doing the video. If they say it's good drills and there's no trash in there, then I believe them. Uh, I haven't seen any stowaways in these so far. And again, I'm not going to take you guys through uh, inventory. I don't know about y'all. That kind of bores me a little as well. Um, but everything is pretty sealed. I don't have any, you know, runaways. Now, one good thing about this, oh, focus already. I, I, I gotta turn off autofocus or something on this camera. I am so sorry about camera quality. That's why I've got Buy Me a Coffee, is because when I reach $500, I am buying a brand new camera so I can give you guys better quality videos. So, um, I hate, you know, please don't think I'm asking you for money, but. You know, if you can buy me a cup of coffee, trust me, I will love you forever and it will be greatly appreciated. But, anyway, back to this. Enough about that. Um, these look, these look good. I mean, I don't see any misshapen drills. I mean, they look, they look, well, there's one stowaway right there. Oh, that one was really bad. There's three in that. I don't know. Please be good. Please be good. Hey, I got a question for you guys. Okay, one, everybody knows that I'm new, and I've only been diamond painting for two months, okay? However, I have crafted everything in the world. I am an artist. I am a, um, a graphics designer, so I do know a little bit about art. However, one thing that I don't know is... Okay, you know how you can go to like Joann's and Michael's and Hobby Lobby and they have the diamond dots, okay? Now, we all know that, you know, good uh, good canvases are Diamond Art Club, uh, which are sold at Hobby Lobby. And I've also heard they're being sold at Myers now. I uh, just heard that yesterday. So, uh, anyway... Are diamond dot drills the same size that DMC and all the good companies use, or is there a difference in the sizes? The reason why I'm asking is because I have bought a couple of bottles of the D, uh, of the diamond dots. Okay, so if push comes to shove, and I run out of color due to these are round. I can pop up to Hobby Lobby and uh, buy a matching color and, and get her birthday present finished. But again, I don't know if these are the same size or not. So if anybody can answer my question, please leave a comment below. Okay, I read all of my comments and I reply to all of my comments. So anything that you have to say is greatly appreciated. Um, gorgeous colors. Love that salmon. That's kind of a salmon pink. Uh, a lot of sunshine yellows, oranges. See, she loves all these fall colors. So, I'm really, really, really hoping that um, this does good. If not, one good thing about Amazon, I can put it all back in a bag, write damaged on it. And I, when I send things back to Amazon that are damaged... Uh, I write damaged all over everything. That way they cannot restock it and then turn around and, and sell it to somebody else. Because half the time they don't pay attention. They just stick it back on the shelf. So if you don't, and that goes for Walmart, that goes for Myers, that goes for all these places. If you ever return anything and it's broken, missing a piece, or damaged, 
write it all over the box, write it all over everything because it's no skin off their nose, all right? They, what they do is they contact the company and they go, hey, this was damaged and, and they get their money back from the company. So don't feel bad about writing damaged all over everything. But, you know, you're, you're saving somebody else from rebuying a, a, a product that, you know, is broken or, good example, missing stuff. So I, I, I'm not going to put you guys through inventory, but I will do that in a, a second as soon as I finish this video. Um, and so that's what it is. And I'm scared. This is, I swore I would never buy another Amazon diamond painting um because they're just not good quality I, i'm sorry diamond art club has spoiled me oh my gosh i am a yarn snob i know about my yarn and honestly i have to admit it, i might be only two months diamond painting but i've already become a a a, a, a diamond art club um uh craftability uh oh my gosh you guys have got to go check out craftability and their new 4.0 uh, collection they got coming out man they did some massive upgrades over there um, also other companies dreamers design uh, so I that's where uh, hazel and and rainbow are coming from is uh, dreamers design so um, yeah you guys keep an eye out for that so anyway I am going to be saying my goodbyes here um, would like to thank I would like to say thank you to Jim Weeder for becoming a Buy Me A Coffee channel supporter. Jim, I love you to death. Thank you, thank you so much. It is so greatly appreciated. I swear when I reach 500 on Buy Me A Coffee, I am buying a new video camera so you guys can see better quality videos. I'd also like to say that thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already and would like to subscribe, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the bell icon so you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. So, this is Nyx, and I would like to say be happy, be crafty, and above all else, be kind. Have a great day, guys, and I'm sure I will be talking to you again soon. Bye for now.